Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collected messages. Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. Excuse me, sir. Could you just like go back that way? Thank you. God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, cosmic gods, all beings of the highest and the purest. So I light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Pisces to your family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? Welcome to any new subscribers, okay? Welcome back to my subscribers who are already here. I love and appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for coming back. And I also love and appreciate the new people. People and the people that are just watching y'all see my cat trying to just sit up here all up in the way <laughs> he would not move too i had to like really push him a little bit <laughs> so this is a horus reading okay which kind of makes sense that my cat would be up here um i was feeling some very heavy energy before i did my yoga and like really saged the, the heck out of this space okay because i started feeling like really heavy confusion um i started even getting a little bit emotional and a little bit like worried about my day or how it's gonna go or whatever like and i was sitting here like what the heck and I, I pulled a couple cards and even those were very confusing the answers you know so horace was saying that he's clearing Heavy confusion spells being sent your way at this time, okay? It was, like, symbolic, okay? <laughs> um, and I'm glad I figured that out before I actually started the reading because it would have been really hard, okay? Like, right now, you're at this point where you are unleashing this wilder, more free, more intuitive, instinctual type of energy from within yourself, you know? And you really need to continue to have this trust in the higher forces that you have been having, you know? Um... Try to do your best to see beyond your current situation, you know. Just focus on the positive and what it is that you really, truly do want to see. But, yeah, look, under here it says take note of intuitive messages, okay. So really listen to yourself, you know, because I was really in a happy-go-lucky mood, okay. <laughs> like, I mean, I still am, but uh, it took me a second to try to figure out, like, how did my mood just turn like that, you know. And it was really strong and usually you know, they'll just tell me like a little note or whatever, but it's very like symbolic that he had me feel it so strongly, you know, because this could be something that you're really feeling. I mean, really feeling in your stomach and your gut and really wondering like, what the heck is going on? You got people with coven ties, okay, out here throwing lots of salt on your name and sending lots of negative energy toward you, okay? You could be a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius could be very significant. You might want to look into some herbal remedies, okay? Herbal remedies for like stress, okay? Um, to raise your vibrations um, and just herbal remedies that support the healthy lifestyle that you're trying to... Um, live okay even if you're if you find yourself having a little bit of heart of a hard time sleeping okay um it would be best for you to get something to help you with that there's even like a little weed weed leaf on here okay <laughs> so um maybe even smoking a little bit for some of you guys who have really really bad anxiety issues and things like that okay i mean i'm not a doctor <laughs> but i have anxiety kind of bad sometimes okay so um smoking really helps me okay just a couple of hits you know like just stopping as soon as i get that head change it really does a lot for me okay i think your alone time is going to be extremely important to you at this time you could be seeing hawks okay because because the hawk represents Horus, okay? You could be finding yourself being, like, followed by hawks, okay? Happens to me all the time. <laughs> like, I never knew there was, like, this many hawks in California, okay, in my area. Because they be around a lot, okay? So, um, be on the lookout for things like that. But also, he's saying he, he, he could show you a hawk anywhere. He could show, show it to you on TV, in a book, wherever, you know, on the internet, wherever it is that you're looking. So, be on the lookout for this sign that Horus is in your energy. Because I think he has a lot of messages for you okay capricorn could be significant you could be a capricorn or some of these uh coven tie having folks that's throwing salt could be um a capricorn or a what else what did i say i said a sagittarius okay 
So what is that? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? We got the Six of Wands right here and the Nine of Cups under that because, baby, you are being recognized as this beautiful divine being that's full of light, you know? And I love how it's like they're even wearing the same thing. It's like you're in this place of balance where you're attracting a lot of attention and a lot of the wishes that you, you wish to have fulfilled at this time. So try to maintain that balance and know that like when you feel that confusion or this over emotional feeling and you're worried all of a sudden when you were just happy going with the flow and working with the divine, know that that's not your energy, okay? There could be some sort of X or something sending trying to send some sort of like they want to get you into a very anxious place so they can come in with some sort of love offer is what I'm hearing okay but that's just really not going to happen you're on this amazing crystal ascension also 525 and 545 could be significant you could be a life path number five or two or four or nine or seven okay but you're on this beautiful crystal ascension and spirit really wants you to just stay focused on finding your bliss, you know, or staying in this very happy, beautiful type of energy. And that's why Horus is really helping to break this, these confusion energies and things before they even get to you because they really need you to be focused. And it's like more than that, they need you to call the energy out when you feel the energy, okay? You are a high priestess. It's very important for you to use your mystic power in that way because I feel like there's a lot of people who really want to confuse not only the direction that you're headed in, but the way that you see, the way that your gifts operate, okay? We got shaman and seer, okay? <laughs> you're amazing, very high type of energy. So um, just call the energies for what for what you see them as, and then you'll be able to easier embrace this energy of peace, okay? So this is your energy right here, the broken arrow, embracing the energy of peace. I don't feel like you're in a conf conflicting place, you know? I don't feel like you're looking for war or looking for drama or looking for problems with anyone, but there are a lot of people on the outside of you who are just taking your progress and taking your growth as like, you know, this challenge for drama or issues or conflict and I really think that's so stupid you know and it really sucks to have to deal with that th those types of people you know a very competitive energy is going on outside of you is what Horace is saying and it's very important that you be like the hawk and see the things from a higher perspective rather than like entertaining anyone on a negative vibration or even entertaining those negative vibrations that they're sending your way because that's really not authentic to your energy you know I seen 744 what's going on outside of them though we got ages 20 to 30 that could be significant we got job interference okay and we got the wrong way because <laughs> you better know that they go the wrong way every time they try to interfere with your job someone could be trying to bring drama to your workplace or showing up on your job and co-workers plotting on you you know and he's saying co-workers could be family and your job could be just you working on yourself and improving yourself in the best possible way okay look at this we got fight right here 20s to 30s okay surrounded by evil on all four sides and did not say there was an ex-lover okay a karmic lover coming up against you trying to call some sort of interference with you with your work with your life with everything so that they can try to get back into your energy but they're going the wrong way while they're fucking with you okay they fucking with the wrong one <laughs> i'm gonna tell you right now they messing with the wrong one okay we got illegal protection when I parked the deck. Okay, I was just staring at it. It says using their legal connections for their personal agendas, having connects on the inside and being bailed out of situations. Okay, so I don't know. This could be somebody that like went to jail and got out real fast. Okay, <laughs> that's like, I don't know. I want to say that's never a good sign. But I mean, if you know that, you know what I mean. Okay, they went to jail and they got out way too quick. Okay, um, they got some sort of illegal protection um, that helps them. I heard they could be like some sort of informant or something like this. Okay, we got inferior lifestyle. Someone feels inferior to you and, and your real power. You know, they don't like the way that you are tapped into this ancestral spirituality and how it's so authentic. Okay, <laughs> like they look, can look at you and see that 
you're chosen. See that you have these beautiful, God-given, authentic, natural gifts and that you are a star, that you're standing in your strength and they don't want you to be this leader that you're shaping into, you know? But it doesn't matter what they want. It only matters what the divine want and what is your journey and the way that you're supposed to be walking. Everything else is their problem, okay? So people could be about to have some sort of emergency situations or something like this because they've been out here putting out these false reports about you and about, you know, how you do your thing or, you know, why you do your thing or whatever. I don't know. It's a lot of stupid gossip going on. It's the, the energy that I'm getting. Like, it's not even important enough to repeat the nonsense that they've been saying, you know, but whatever deal that they had or, you know, how whatever protection they had or whatever, that shit is wearing off. Somebody could be in their 30s or 40s, okay? They're going to come around begging you after they was doing all of this damage to your property, these fucking masons and eastern stars that are on the negative vibration, you know, because they're always like, you know, oh... <laughs> They're not all bad, the Masons, you know, and it's true. They were, they started out as an organization that was meant to teach a lot of the occult knowledge to the divine people, okay? But they got corrupted somewhere along the way. So a lot of them are, are on a very negative vibration, but it's not because, you know, like, it's just because that's that's what they think that the Mason Eastern Star energies are meant to be about. And it's just really not about that, okay? It's really supposed to be about the brotherhood and about the true teaching of spirituality and how to help you get in touch with yourself. And it was a secret because so many people were showing signs that they weren't ready to obtain that type of knowledge. But like I said, it got corrupted somewhere along the way and you're dealing with um, a corrupted part of it. OK, we got the West that could be very significant. We got Hindu. You could be Hindu or someone could be Hindu or something like this. OK, we got the spiritualist and we got secret society protection. OK, we got help. They finna need help. <laughs> They finna need help after Horus gets done dealing with them, okay? Somebody could be paying lots of attention to your money and finances, trying to see if this lawyer then reached out to you or not, you know? These people are looking like hit dogs, okay? <laughs> they out here doing drug deals or maybe just doing drugs altogether, okay? They've been forging documents. They've been stealing people's property and they've been worshiping the devil and spirit, been watching everything they've been doing. <laughs> it says every move, deed, energy, or thought, sent or done toward you is being seen and recorded by your spirit team there is nothing they can do that cannot be found out through spirit okay so these people been hiding in plain sight and lying to you quite a bit okay but it's like they have been sorely mistaken okay they misunderstood you they misunderstood your power they misunderstood the insurance that god gives to you and to your life when you are walking on the right path okay so all the times that they try to poison you all this magic that they're trying to do to you it's just really not working the only reason why you may be feeling confusion or maybe feeling emotional or maybe feeling worried about something is because it, one, you could be too close to these people and they're feeling all these feelings because they know that the gig is up. Or two, you're just extremely psychic and empathic. And he's saying, you know, for you, it really truly is a little bit of both. You're just really empathic, okay? And you just really know what's going on around you. Your spirit team's always making you very aware of that. So call out those energies to be not yours. You know what I'm saying? Because Archangel Michael protects you from every single thing. <laughs> Call out the energies, call on Archangel Michael and tell him that you, these are not your energies. You don't allow, like you don't give these people permission to be in your energy or to send anything negative or on a lower vibration your way, should it be for your highest good, you know, and that will clear it right up is what Horace is saying. What's the outcome or the advice? With, we got guardian angel, okay? It says, love yourself unconditionally and ask for help, okay? So that's what I was just saying. Like, Horus wants you to just really reach out and ask for help, even if you don't feel comfortable asking him for help for some reason. Reach out to your angels. Reach out to your ancestors. Call out to God. There are so many different ways you could get this help to align you with your highest good and have you going with the flow again in no time and not feeling any worry or anxiety over things that you really can't control, you know, or things that you really wouldn't be tripping off of otherwise. So it says your guardian angel is your own personal angel who has been with you throughout all your lifetimes. It is always with you. And the more you need it, the closer it is to you. 
It holds the divine blueprint for your life and is con constantly whispering advice on the best way forward. It arranges the coincidences and synchronicities that ensure you are in the right place at the right time. Most of all, it loves you unconditionally, never judges you, and is always ready to help, even if you ignore its promptings. It will, le it will often leave a little white feather as a reminder of its presence. Your guardian angel protects you and ensures that good things happen to you. It, however, if your soul commands that you undergo a challenge or a difficult experience, your angel must step aside and allow you to go through it. And, you know, I'm hearing like, in a way, this energy is training you to ask for help, training you to call the energy for what it is when it's not yours, you know. So that's why they're saying ask for help. They're training you to ask for help, training you to constantly be in the energy where you're embracing the energy of peace and not being frantic when you feel those energies at first and trying to hurry up and figure out like, what is this? What is wrong? Oh my gosh, you know, I'm freaking out because I freaked out just a little bit when I started feeling these energies, you know, <laughs> but not a lot, you know, really just a little. I pulled out the deck and I was like, you know, I pulled out this tarot deck and I was just like, spirit, what is going on? You know, I seen um, Archangel Raziel's name okay so um he that's he told me like you know uh there's it was like um i don't know it was something and it was the ten of swords and it was just other cards and i and it was just like are you telling me like people were sending at sending it at me that was pretty much the message you know and then I was like, oh, it's symbolic. <laughs> like this has something to do with the reading I'm about to do. And they just gave me confirmation on that, you know. So don't freak out. It says, um, this card reminds you that you are loved unconditionally when you remember that your self-worth, self-esteem, and confidence increase. You feel happier and more harmonious and you view the outside world with eyes of love. Your guidance now is to see yourself as your angels see you. Look for the good in yourself and others so that your heart center glows. Then your own etheric wings will spread and grow. People will sense them and be drawn to you. So enfold those who need comfort. If you need help, ask your guardian angel. If what you are seeking for doesn't happen, either the timing is wrong or it isn't for the highest good, so let it go, okay? And then on the next page, it says, seek soul satisfaction. So just continue to seek, you know, all of the beautiful things in life that satisfy your soul. And don't worry about, like, anybody trying to send negativity toward you because they're not going to win. Like, continue to have this beautiful, nurturing heart. Continue to nurture yourself in the these times of difficulty and use that time where you have those energies active and present in that moment and talk to the spirit and they will help you to ease that a lot. And I think it's so important that you learn to do this. It says, I am a protective spirit and reach out to all life with love and compassion. It's like they're saying if you were wanting to help someone else and you didn't know what to do, you're the type of person that would pray or that would call out for help in their favor. So do that very same thing for you with this third eye <laughs> energy at the bottom of the deck. You see things so clearly. It says, I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. And part of that wisdom is knowing when to ask for help with energies that you don't necessarily understand or that you don't really want to claim in that moment. We got the spark of the divine because it is alive and well within you, baby. You have reignited the divine spark within yourself, you know, and it's like it says it says I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I am a part of all creation. And then we got fire elemental. OK, so it's like this energy of if you're not feeling peaceful and passionate and fiery and ready to go on about your day, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're not in self-love mode then this just like that's not where you belong at like then you on the wrong street is what i'm really hearing okay so horace is just like i don't know he said a reminder it's almost like this reminder of the power that you're standing in at this time and this reminder that you really don't have any problems you got a lot of people trying to affect the way that you do the things that you do okay i'm hearing so fine so fine you blow my mind with the things you do. You got people like totally mind blown because you're this beautiful and amazing healer, you know, and they just can't believe your fucking intuition, okay? They can't believe 
your psychic gifts. They can't believe this harmonious flow that you slid into after such a hard and terrible life, you know, to the point where they just don't believe it. <laughs> like that's that's a part of the gossip, you know. They just really don't believe you. They don't believe you did such a turnaround to your life because they're stuck on the, your old ways of being, you know. Like this, you can even be surrounded by people who really don't believe in change. They never seen change in this way, you know. Yeah, we got spirit guides. So you're very, very surrounded by spirit guides at this time, okay. Okay. Open your heart to your guides and trust in the wisdom that they're trying to share with you at this time because this air element been popping out a lot lately. There's a lot of different things going on <laughs> in a lot of the minds of the chosen ones, okay? So take the time to deal with your self and with your air and know that it will always be like a rewarding situation. The divine will always bless you and reward you for pinpointing these types of energies and taking a, the time to transmute that energy out of this place so that no one else has to deal with that energy as much either, you know? What's a nurturing heart mother and the spark of the divine? We got temperance, okay? So you're so tempered and beautiful, baby. <laughs> and you just need to keep that balance about you. Like, it's almost like people are trying to piss you off, which I've been receiving a lot too. You could be, like, if you work on the internet, okay, you could be noticing, like, issues with your numbers or whatever. Even if you work out in the work field, you could be noticing issues with your number. They're saying, with your numbers, they're saying, like, you know, your check being less than it should be or things like that. I've seen 2121 and 2112. But Horace doesn't want you to worry about that. Like I said, he wants you to see things from the higher perspective and know that those types of things that happen could never really truly have an effect on you or your life. Your life is headed to such like a much better place. OK, yeah, we got the two of daggers. Like these people want you to be torn in between, like they want you to really be up and down because, you know, if you're up and down emotionally, then you really don't have any balance. They want you to be really happy one day. You know what I mean? Really sad the next day, really uh, just messed up in the head. OK, but you're standing in your strength and they're not able to affect you like this. The queen of cups could be very significant. Is the chancellor the queen? I think the chancellor is the king of cups. OK. But it's it's the King of Cups, but it's very feminine energy. So you could be dealing with like, I almost want to say like a Cancer, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's like either they're masculine and they're in their really feminine energy or they're feminine and they're really masculine. Because like I said, this is the King of Cups. We got the four of. Um, crystals or the four of pentacles okay which just lets me know that you have released this person's energy permanently there's really that's the only thing they could do is try to push this really confused type of energy at you what else yeah we got the devil but you have to choose in every moment to unchain from that type of energy every time that you see it pop up. Like I said, you are the authoritarian in your life. If you don't call it out, then you're not really standing your ground properly. When you do call it out or call it for what it is or ask the divine to handle that thing, that's when you call judgment and these people run into these towers for the things that they have done, okay? For all of this sneaky shit that they keep trying to do and trying to send your way. So make sure that you call it for what it is. Yeah, we got the Knight of Wands. And then you can have more the passionate movement forward in that moment that you see yourself having as the, the authoritarian of your own life. While people get exposed, you move on and exchange energy with the proper people, you know. Then we got the Ten of Crystals and the Three of Cups, okay. Then you can get back to the party, <laughs> back to enjoying your divine destiny, and you let these people fight amongst themselves. What else? What else is going on here? We got Hound Dog, okay? So, first of all, I'm hearing, you ain't nothing but a Hound Dog. <laughs> so, I don't know. The Hound Dog always gives me, like, a very loyal energy okay of course the dog energy comes with that but also you know hound dogs belong to royalty okay so it's given divine royalty 
And when you are divine royalty, you have the best guard dogs ever. Okay? I am rich, period. <laughs> you are rich. And it's very important that you keep that very rich and I got something to lose mindset going on when you're operating this life, you know? And don't worry about, like, I looked back at job interference. Like, we got spell book. <laughs> So they really, 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 really is all up in the spell book trying to figure out, you know, what can they what can they use against you because you're rich and you're looking loyal and you're looking divine. You looking like royalty out here and how dare you? You mm -mm, you're going the wrong way. Fucking with us. We going we going to stop your job. But they don't have that kind of power. OK, because <laughs> wisdom will not enter a shifty soul. OK. It says a shifty soul acts fraudulently and tries to deceive woes, okay? We got laying a solid foundation. This is what you have done. So you hold the wisdom that these people who are hating on you cannot hold, okay? Arizona could be significant. We got three skeletons were discovered in Arizona. And we got twisted lies, you know? I'm hearing you and your twisted words. Your help just hurts. You were not what I thought you were. A hello too high and dry you know i feel like you've been dealing with a lot of people but i did say i did bring up family too you know you've been dealing with a lot of people who've been telling you a lot of twisted lies for a very long time you know but you are an oracle you know what exactly is going to go on exactly when it's gonna go on <laughs> and it's very important that you believe yourself when you see these things is what horace is saying because you're in a much more powerful place than you really truly think, okay? And it's like, think about it. Like when you're asleep, when you're sad, when you're in despair, when you're not trying to do the best things you could do for your life and for your energy, you don't have, you don't feel all this extra confused energy. You're not extra worried about everything. You know what I'm saying? You're not walking around confused all the time. It seems like everything's happy-go-lucky, but as soon as you start walking the right way, it's like walking against very heavy wind, you know? All of a sudden, you have this mental conflict and, look, conflict and defeat, okay? And trapped in fear and surprise, what, suffering in silence, okay? That's nasty energy right there. <laughs> this is not your energy, okay? Like, the minute you start walking right, the minute you start focusing on this light and having that beautiful hope for the future, this is the energy that these people step into. And this is why you feel it, okay? They step into mental conflict the minute you're doing things the right way. They feel like your success, you going up, is bringing them down in some sort of way because there's these men running up the side of the stairs. They feel so conflicted and defeated and they're too afraid to learn something or do the work that you've been doing, okay? So now it's like, oh, well, if I can't take their place, then I'm just going to you know, try to affect their job and try to affect the way that people see them. Yeah, we got disruption. I'm just going to disrupt everything that they got going on. <laughs> but they cannot. The only thing that they're doing is disrupting themselves. Dismantling their own energy is what Horace is saying, okay? So that's why it's important that you just call the energy for what it is so that you can have positive movement forward. Don't allow any energy that's being sent into you at this time to be something that even has the power to disrupt you and your beautiful divine like standing that you have, you know, you're in such an amazing place. And all they're asking for you to do is, con is to remain peaceful and happy as much as you can. Taking all of the things that happen in, in stride, you know what I mean? Not feeling like any of this has the ability to hold you back because it really truly doesn't. As long as you work from the heart with the divine, you will be triumphant, okay? Just like I said, continue to follow your intuition and your passion will continue to be ignited. You have made so many sacrifices along this journey. You earned this new perspective and this way that you're walking in life. So be very confident in it and rejoice in this energy of celebration because you deserve it, okay? Look at victory and success after that, okay? 
love has already began pouring into your life in a major way. You have tackled and mastered that shadow. So when you feel those shadow energies that feel oh so familiar, you're able to call them out and shine light on them and continue toward the victory and success that you earned and worked so hard for. Ah, beautiful, Horus. What's the final thought on this? Okay, we got enter. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna run through these real quick. We got into the chamber of healing. Okay, healing in the divine chamber of Lady Isis. Okay, so showering yourself with as much unconditional love as you possibly can, you know, like playing the rattle of Isis, the rattle of love, the rattle of grace over that very loud confused, emotional, stressed, worried type of energy, calling in the healing to yourself at all times, giving those things their proper burial, giving them a moment, saying a couple of words to transmute those things in order for you to continue to feel free, allowing the flower of life to thrive in that peaceful light energy that you're constantly holding within yourself through your divine creativity and manifestations that you're doing in this life and maintaining that amazing balance that you really do hold. Let me just get one. Thank you, my love. Okay. We got the serpent of fire. There's two. We got the serpent of fire and we got the temple of lapis lazuli, goddess of the ancient skies. You know, lapis lazuli works very well with the, um, with the third eye chakra. Okay. So trust in your visions and nudges that you're getting. That's so important to your balance and to you like wielding that fire that you hold within yourself in the best way, but still staying in that healing type of energy. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. So it says Isis, priestess of the serpent sisterhood and queen of the serpent of fire guides you through transformation. Now, as your energy field grows stronger and old energies are burned away in the process of your growth. Trust that you are growing and are more capable than you have been previously. Do not assess your current ability based on past standards as they no longer apply to you. You are stronger and more powerful now than you have ever been before. You need to learn afresh what you are capable of and ISIS helps you now. It says the serpent headpiece of Isis represents the inner fire serpent or Kundalini as it rises in accordance with spiritual growth and empowerment. This happens when the time is right and we are ready. It is important to realize that your inner energy and power is growing now and you will need to get used to new levels of strength. Okay. This means that you will need to adjust your sense of your own abilities to meet your new levels of energetic empowerment. You will need to realize you are capable of more than you previ previously were. And also you power and no, my bad. And also you may need to temper your behavior to take into account the greater power and effect of your words, thoughts and actions, you know, and that includes falling into a trap of thinking a certain way, you know what I mean? Or convincing yourself that things are wrong or that things aren't working out or that people aren't getting judgment or whatever. Call yourself on those things, on those negative pessimistic type of energies using this beautiful new level of power that you have accomplished, you know? It says when you grow stronger, your words, thoughts, actions, and intentions gather potency more so than before. Your responsibility for what you put out into the world grows too. In the same way that a drop of water causes less movement than a tsunami, your emotions and words will have a bigger effect because the energy behind them, your serpent fire, is awakening, okay? It says Isis can help you manage this process so that what you put out into the world comes from a place of wisdom and love, service and compassion, healing and awareness. One of the first lessons this card offers you is the recognition of your power. It is perilous to under 
what okay so it is perilous to underestimate your spiritual power as you can unintentionally create harm by not realizing that your actions and words have an effect on the world around you and the effect of those actions and words comes back to you multiplied as karmic return serpent of fire calls you to become aware of your power by having an open and curious awareness and noticing with detachment and clear perception the signs of confirmation that you have that have that oh my gosh it says serpent of fire calls you to become aware of your power by having an open and curious awareness and noticing with detachment and clear perception the signs of confirmation that you do have an effect upon your surroundings you can then manage your power with greater wisdom okay it says, if you pulled this oracle along with the eye of Horus, then you must be particularly careful with your thoughts, asking that any negative thoughts be cleared when you catch yourself thinking in such a way. Beautiful confirmation. It says your mind has a lot of power and sending negative or vengeful thoughts toward another, even if just in a rash moment of anger, can be harmful to them. If you catch yourself doing this, it is extremely wise to go into your heart and apologize to them and send them love, even if it is just someone walking down the street or driving a car, and the entire process happens in only a matter of seconds. The second lesson of the Oracle of the Serpent of Fire is to trust in the process of the inner fire and what is being burned away. Just as the serpent sheds a skin to reveal itself anew, there are changes happening inside of you and some old identities, beliefs about yourself and others, old habits or patterns of behavior that will not survive the growth into the new expression of you. Whilst you will likely be happy to let go, to let these go, there can be uncertainty and a sense of not knowing who you are anymore as a transition between the old and new expressions of yourself, okay? And so that could be where some of the confusion and a little bit of emotional turmoil could be coming in, you know, because you're in this transition and you got people sending a lot of heat your way. You're trying to accomplish everything you want to accomplish in your job and just trying to be beautiful and productive and a grown up, you know what I'm saying? And people are really pulling out the spell books and trying to throw as much disruption at, at this as possible you know so Horace is just saying like really center yourself and commune with the divine so that you can keep your energy on the up and up while you go through such a heavy transition and you're dealing with all of these other things outside of you it says this is a sign that you are growing in a profound way and rather than something to be avoided it can be embraced as confirmation of this growth Lady Isis, priestess of the Serpent Sisterhood, understands that in the growth of spiritual power, old forms are burned away to allow for new life to emerge. It is safe to trust that any endings or discomfort as the familiar begins to make way for the unfamiliar in your life now are signs of your growth and are to be celebrated. OK, so this is a is a great thing chorus is saying that you're learning the lessons you're learning and you're going through the things that you're going through they are teaching you to wield this new and beautiful higher level of power that you have attracted to yourself teaching you how to be the authoritarian when it comes to wielding such power and teaching you how to be as responsible when you do it as possible okay so that's beautiful. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, okay, that you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later, my love. Bye.